Chevrolet is blazing a new path. The 2024 Blazer EV is the brand's first midsize electric utility vehicle. And will be hitting showrooms next summer where it will be going up against the likes of the Ford Mustang Mach-E and Tesla Model Y. Fox News Auto's editor Gary Gaspalu. And joining me in the Fox Garage to talk about it is Scott Bell, the vice president of Global Chevrolet. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Good morning. So this, this will be in showrooms next summer. It's actually going to be alongside the current gas-powered Blazer. Uh, what's the thought process behind having the two models? And that's a completely different vehicle as well. Yeah, no, we're excited about this one. Uh, obviously, I uh, pulled the cover off of it yesterday here in um, California. Uh, yeah, so look, we introduced the, the current Blazer, the ICE variant, our internal combustion engine variant of that vehicle uh, four years ago. Uh, made a big design statement uh, in the segment and and certainly for Chevrolet. And we've had great success with that. And, you know, our our mission has been to to provide EVs for all. Chevrolet is going to play that role here for, for General Motors and do it in big volume. This is one of the biggest segments in the industry. So, um, you know, to get an entry into this segment uh, is critical if we want to get the masses to, you know, kind of adopt the EV, uh, uh, you know, going forward. So I'd this is this is the right place for us to be, right? We we talked about Silverado um, earlier in the year. We're going to talk about the, the Equinox variant here uh, very soon. Uh, but those are the three largest segments in the industry, and and Chevrolet is going to play that role. Now that Equinox that's going to be coming out later in the year, uh, you've said you're going to be having a model on uh, a version of that that might be priced close to thirty thousand uh, dollars. The Blazer uh, when it first goes on sale, the cheapest one's going to be forty seven. Then you're going to get down to uh, 44 uh, a couple of months later. Uh, GM doesn't get that $7,500 tax credit right now, which puts you at a little bit of a disadvantage price-wise with some of your competitors. Uh, do you think this pricing is gonna hold up or are you kind of hoping up, uh, holding out hope that they're gonna have new EV tax credits in a year or two? Look, adoption is 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 critical for our success, right? So um, we, know, we know cost is one of those barriers for consumers to, to flip. Um, you know, we're we're hopeful that the government will find a way to to kind of lean in there and 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 do something. But we're prepared. We're we're prepared to go either way. So the the pricing, you know, we're good. We're going to go in. We're very competitive in the segment, and uh, we like where we stand. Like you said, we'll be in that 45 range up to 65 for the SS. So um, it's right in the right in the place where the market actually transacts today for the most part. So we're we're looking. You know, yes, would we'd like to see some uh, incentive help? Sure, but um, right now we're feeling good about where we're at. That SS can have 557 horsepower, all-wheel drive train, zero to 60, under four seconds. Uh, it seems like everybody comes out with an EV these days. They have that performance model at the top of the lineup. Uh, that seems to be pretty important to get people excited about these right now. Yeah, I mean, uh, you look, you look at the vehicle. The, the design is is outstanding. The tech in the in the product is phenomenal. Uh, performance is a you know one of a few pillars for Chevrolet for sure. The SS badge we don't we don't take that lightly, so we don't put it on just anything. Uh, but this vehicle certainly lives up to that kind of capability. So uh, got a lot of hype around it here in the in the early hours of it being out and uh but the rs is a beautiful product as well and and the lt will be awesome too so i yes but the we've certainly created some hype and that performance numbers you just quoted are are pretty pretty stellar now one of the more unusual things about the blazer ev is that you're going to have it available with front wheel drive rear wheel drive and all wheel drive only vehicle in america uh that's sold that way and it's pretty rare uh, in the history of the vehicle uh, of automobiles uh, tell me exactly how that's going to work and which model gets what and what's the point of having the front and rear wheel drive particularly? Uh, yeah, I mean, offered? it's it's the beauty of Altium, right? So the Altium base of this product gives us opportunities to give customers choice. We've got a lot of, um, you know, uh, a lot of variants here. So LTRS, SS, and as you mentioned, front wheel, rear wheel, or, or all wheels. So um, yeah, we think that's going to play well for us. Um, it's 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 not a com big tear up to do like it would have been in in ice variants to offer that kind of level of capability and to your point it is the first time that, that we're doing it so we think you know look performance is 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 enhanced greatly in that in that rear wheel drive variant so we we like that um, but we we got front wheel and all wheel drives for 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 anybody who wants it so I um, it's going to be a good 
good opportunity for us to give customers choice. Now, along with the consumer models, uh, you're also gonna have a police pursuit vehicle version of this based off of the SS. I believe this is the first uh, PPV electric vehicle that's been announced so far, although people are using uh, various electric cars, including the Chevy Bolt uh, as uh, patrol vehicles and traffic enforcement type vehicles uh, already. Uh, I guessing you're not just throwing this out here to see how it sticks. You've probably spoken to law enforcement agencies to see if this is something they're interested in. Have you been working with them it, on its development? We we have. So that's that's the um, you know that's why we made a big deal about it last night. This was not a an afterthought. Put some badges on it and call it a police pursuit vehicle. We you know our fleet and commercial team is we we do a lot of business in that space today. And Tahoe's a big piece of that. Uh, but having an SS variant. Uh, gave us permission to give them something they're looking to get their fleets electric by. So we're, uh, we worked with them uh, and, and the vehicle, although we didn't show it live last night, we showed some photography of it. The interior was actually designed specifically for them. So it's a different interior to be able to manage their emergency equipment and things they need to carry around. So uh, very purposely built and uh, based on the the, the the hype of the, the what we did last night and some of the police folks that we had the LAPD was around us last night they were they were all on stage late the night last night looking at the car so a lot of lot of good positive feedback from them for sure now the range on this uh, will run from 247 miles of charge to 320 miles of charge depending on the model consumer reports recently had a uh, survey that found that that's the main concern uh, for EV buyers right now the main turn off is range and charging availability. Uh, do you think this is uh, enough to reach the total mainstream or are we still in the early adopter stage uh, as far uh, as uh, range? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, our research would tell us 300 is kind of that, the magic number. Um, many don't need it. So that's, you know, to have variants that are less than that, that will be less expensive because they don't need the large battery packs it will be good. Again, choice for us is a good thing. Uh, but yeah, 320 is, 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 is great in comparison to anything that is out there. Um, you know, charging is, infrastructure is another piece of that puzzle. So we can't just, you know, give them the range and, and think we're good. We, we're spending a lot of money, you know, three quarters of a billion dollars, General Motors alone in, in infrastructure. So we're doing some charging things with the Bolt. We've been putting, helping consumers get that charger into their garage for those that can do it at home. Uh, but we've got dealers working in communities. We just announced a deal with a um, pilot Flying J uh, facilities across the country to get some fast charging on, on highways uh, around the U.S. So a lot of work to still be done. But uh, yeah, 300 is, is kind of that magic number. And, and we got a lot of good, good feedback on that. Now, one last thing I have to ask you about this. The styling is very distinctive and you've described it as being uh, inspired by the Chevy Camaro. Uh, both on the outside and on the inside. Uh, there's rumors going around that the Camaro with the internal combustion engine uh, is going to be discontinued pretty soon. It might not even be replaced by another Camaro in the near future, electric or internal combustion. Uh, what's the future of the Camaro? Does it have a place in Chevy's lineup or can we expect to see something else as you transition toward the electric era? Your performances, I'm not going to make any future product announcements here, but I for, uh, you know, performance is, is a is a is a main pillar of, of Chevrolet. Um, you know, for certainly C8 Camaro uh, and, and introducing a Blazer SS, I, I think we're going to get a lot of performance enthusiasts that are going to that are going to come towards uh, a Blazer. It's a little bit more practical, and and you can't knock a zero to sixty time under four seconds. So, uh, Blazer will will definitely be a big piece of that puzzle. All right, Scott Bell, Vice President Global Chevrolet. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And to read more about the Blazer EV and for all the latest automotive news, head on over to foxnewsonline.com.